Hello, this is Chris Pope with CED Solutions. Um, this is another video uh, we've made for our test prep series on the 70-640. And if you find this helpful, you'll definitely find our training helpful. Give us a call at 1-800-611-1840. Don't forget to use the discount coupon code CED YouTube, and you can get $100 off of any class. All right, so let me get started. Uh, all these questions can be found on our blog at uh, blog.cedsolutions.com, as well as at our YouTube page, YouTube. Uh, forward slash user forward slash CED solutions. So taking a look at the question that we've got up here on the 640 exam, it says, you are the network administrator for a Windows Server 2008 environment running Active Directory. Your Active Directory force contains five group policy objects. One of these GPOs has an application published for users within it. One of your users calls you, calls you up and states that he is not receiving the application that's supposed to be deployed. You need to quickly identify whether or not the GPO is being received by the user. What should you do? So I'm going to go ahead and explain the wrong answers first, and then I'm going to explain the correct answer, and then I'm going to demonstrate it. So first answer is A. It says run the GP result slash S, and then the name of the computer slash Z. So if we quickly take a look, I'm going to click start, search, type CMD, um, I'm going to type GP result. If I type GP result, which it helps if you spell it correctly, and then do a question mark, um, pull the screen down where I can see things a little better. Take a look at these different um, switches. So the slash S specifies the remote system to connect to. So that would connect you remotely to something. Um, slash U uh, lets you specify if it like specific user in a specific domain. Uh, slash scope lets you specify user or computer. Um, let's go back and take a look now at what that question, what the answer was saying again. So it says run the slash s, which again would connect remotely, and then the name of the computer, then slash z. Well, let's look at what z does again. Z specifies the super verbose information, so this would give very detailed information. So really all this is going to do is let me connect to a remote uh, machine but not only that, one of the things we notice is that it, it is that it's wanting to connect to the computer name. It says in the question that it was the application was published to the user, so that would be uh, obviously incorrect. The next answer is B, which is correct. I'm going to take a look at that in a second. C, which is the next wrong one, run the group policy results utility for the computer. Well, yet again, anything that involves just the computer is not going to cut it because when it comes to deploying applications, they can be de they can be um, deployed to users and computers, but problem is, is this application has been published. And if you didn't know this, when it comes to publishing applications within group policies using MSI, Microsoft Installation Packages, they can only be published to users. It's not possible to publish to publish applications to computer accounts. So it cannot, definitely cannot be anything that involves a computer there. Well, you go to D, it says run the GP results slash scope yet again it's for the computer and not the user, so that one's definitely wrong. And then B being the correct answer, run the group policy results utility for the user. Well, let's take a look at what exactly that's saying. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into the group policy management console, which is start, administrative tools, and then group policy management. All right. From here, I can see my forest domains. I have a domain called acme0.com and then these different OUs and down here at the bottom I have group policy objects. I'm going to expand that. Okay, so I have uh, five different group policies. There's one called app1 published users. So this is probably the one in question that's not being you know deployed to whoever. So one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come down here to where it says group policy results because that was what they were saying in the answer. Let me pull that back up run the group policy results utility for the user. So pulling that back up, the group policy management console, I'm going to right click that, group policy results wizard. All right, and then welcome, click next, the welcome screen. I'm going to say, okay, fine for this computer. That's fine. It's not really going to make a difference when it comes to the user account. So I click next. Okay, so display policy settings for the current user. Now, if I knew the name of the specific user in question, I would obviously select this, and then I would be able to select the correct user. But since I don't know the user, I'm just going to demonstrate this with myself. So I'm going to say current user, click next, click
click next it's running the report and finished so now I can take a look at that exact report through the group policy management console and I can expand out everything that I need. I can also save the information that it's about to show me into a, a HTM file so it could be viewed for, through a web page uh, interface pretty much can uh, can do as I please there. Uh, this is all XML information as well so from there I would be able to go here under user configuration group policy objects show the ones that applied and oh, lo and behold I don't have app one published users being deployed so that would tell me what the questions want to know which is whether or not this GPO is being deployed to the user alright I hope that information has been helpful to you we're gonna have a lot of these uh, again a lot of these are gonna be coming out over the the coming days of making a lot of videos made a lot of videos and I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this please feel free to email me uh, Chris Pope at CED solutions cpope at CED solutions dot com and uh, give us a call. You can also find uh, follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash CED Solutions. We're on LinkedIn under company slash CED Solutions. Our main website is www.cedsolutions.com. You can find all of my information at chrispopes.info. Thanks a lot, everybody, and uh, see you on the next video.